Greetings gamers, I'm Pemby66 and I've made two groundbreaking discoveries. Yes. I'm really excited about what I've, uh, I've discovered today. Now the first subject is de dealing with interference on your, on your screen. When you when you recorded your gameplay from the PlayStation 3, you have to go via the compo component route. We all know this. Right? If you haven't got a capture card but you've got a PlayStation 3 and you're thinking of getting one, this is what you got to have to, this is what you find because PlayStation Sony they put copy protection through the HDMI so the only way to link up your gameplay is your gameplay screen is via your component you have to set up via component cable which you know you mean you have to look hard to get hold of them but if you're lucky enough to have a set obviously you're going to use them but even if you got if if you've got a cheap set of component cables like I have you'll find that the actual image is not as crystal clear as HDMI and it actually in my case there's a lot of interference on the screen like ghosty wavy lines all down the screen you know and you can actually see it and it does detract from what you're seeing on the screen especially shooter games like this one Crisis 2 and Crisis 3 and Battlefield 3 you can't see shit because it's all the all the, the screens you know it's not as clear as it could be and I'm thinking to myself, well, how the hell can I, do I purchase new component cables and risk the, the, having the same problem? So I thought to myself, how could I possibly improve the image on the screen? And I was messing about with the HDMI because I've got a spare one. I thought, well, let's plug it into the uh, PlayStation 3 and then plug it into the input of the Roxio. I'm using the Roxio HD Pro. You plug it into the input of there as well as the components leave it leave it it's set up for component yeah because there's no copyright there's no copy protection on that um but plug your hdmi lead in at the same time and what i'm finding it, it, as soon as i plug the, the thing into the the card all the all the, the interference on the screen just vanished and now i'm getting a really clear screen and uh, that is one way where you can get rid of any interference if you, if you experience a shitty picture from component then that's the way to get rid of it just plug your hdmi in right any questions just don't be frightened to ask oh. anyway the second point is my pc screen okay what i can see right now is the roxio game catcher hd pro software running it's, it's on the screen but it's only covering part of the screen. I can see all my desktop icons plus the back bit of the background screen. Right? But what you we're seeing now on this finished video video is only the screen from a PlayStation. Yeah, I'll prove it, I'll move the thing. Let's get me re remote. Move the screen. Oh. Now you know it is it's jerky, but I will go into that as to why it is. What's happening here is I'm, I'm record doing a, a video tutorial from recording my PC screen, but what I've found is when my capture card software is running, the fraps picks up that screen, the, the video signal basically that the capture card is picking up. So this actual capture you're seeing on this on this um, in this video that I've posted here on YouTube is actually from fraps i didn't capture this it, this video with my capture card software i've captured it with fraps but you'll notice it is jerky and that's only because i've got a core 2 intel core 2 duo processor and it's just not fast enough but if you want to record a moving image so like gameplay obviously gameplay and you've got a really good pc but you're finding you're having a few problems with the capture card software. I mean, half the time I press start capture on the, the HD Capture Pro on the Roxio, it says not responding. You know, it, it just fucks up and it does it a lot and it gets on your nerves. So I'm thinking, what's a, another way I can record that screen? Could I, could I put it full screen and then click on one of my screen recorders? And then I found by, by loading up fraps it records the screen as well it records the whole of the screen that that capture card is pick, picking up it's not recording the PC screen, PC screen as you can see 
So if you've got a good, good processor like an i7 or something like that, you probably get away with it. You can record your gameplay from your console using fraps. Now I bet you couldn't, bet you real, bet you didn't think you could do that. Well, that is that's how we can. Um, I don't think anybody else on YouTube's covered this. I think it's an amazing discovery, and I I should get an award. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But anyway, I hope you can understand what I'm rambling on about because it's uh, an amazing discovery I think I've made and. I don't think there's any other video on YouTube that's covered this. For one, the problem with interference on the vision from the component cables, and another two, and that's been solved. And another, another problem. Uh, sorry, another, another um, subject is recording the actual game screen. You know, your gameplay from your PlayStation 3 with fraps. Any questions? Do not be afraid to ask. I'm Penby66. And I'm out of here. As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Penby66 signing off.